Welcome back to Dr. Walls and Friends, and as you can see, I kept him with me. I'm not letting him go that fast. Hey, I ain't gonna let me go that <laughs> fast. I, mean, that's, I, I may be, I may be elderly, but I ain't no fool. That's right. I mean, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> now, Andre, you were telling, you wrote 37 books. Yes, I, not not every one of them are published. Okay. I only have about 16 of them published. All right. Because it's very hard to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, even though you have a bestseller today, and you go to them tomorrow, and they say, "Well, what have you done today?" I say, "Well, what I did yesterday." Right. I mean, I, you know, so that's right. the whole thing. Yeah, I've I've written quite a number. Of, as a matter of fact, um, I think you're you're involved with the Sisters of Harmony, right? Yes. That's a woman's empowerment group. You got it. I have written a book. Watch the plug, okay? The Book of Five Rings that I've written is like a phenomenally huge success. Mm -hmm. Okay, even though I know the publisher makes the money, okay? Right. But, okay. Right. I've written a book called The Lady of the Rings. The Lady of the Rings is Musashi's mm -hmm. Book of Five Rings based on Musashi's Book of Five Rings for women's empowerment. Really? Yes, yes. Um, you'll give me your address. I'll definitely I'll send you a copy Thank of that. Thank you. And uh, I also do. Um, it's more of a pitch, okay? I also do seminars. Yes. To women. Yes. But you know, self-defense mm -hmm. based on the five rings. Mm -hmm. um, positive uh, enhancements, self empowerment, self-esteem, mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. like that. Through another series of books that I have written called okay. Self. Revealization. Oh, I like it. Self revealization acceptance. Talk a little the, bit about that one. I, okay, well, self revealization acceptance came about as a extension of my studies uh, in what I was doing with the martial arts. Mm -hmm. And of course, once you you know you start getting into the whole spiritual aspect of things, and you find out the fallacy of all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, which a lot of people, what do you mean a fallacy of all of that? Mm -hmm. Well, because, you know, when you start thinking in terms of um, I live a spiritual life, what do you mean you live a spiritual life? Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay the rent? Mm -hmm. You know, okay? Mm -hmm. So, well, no, I have a higher calling. Because you do not have a higher calling. This is a hype that you've been laying on yourself to make yourself be able to think you can handle with other nonsense, mm -hmm. you know, back and forth. So I get into a lot of arguments okay. about that. But the whole idea with self-revealization acceptance is you demand yes. of the creative power of the universe mm -hmm. to reveal to you yes. on a demanding basis, not a please please, yes. okay? What you have got to do to experience a particular situation. Mm. Mm. Uh, now we would say, oh, well, that's, that's affirmations. This, this is not no. affirmations, because affirmations don't work. You know, I have a cold, I'll never get rid of it. That's mm. an affirmation, Jack, mm. and you ain't gonna get rid of the cold, right. okay? Right. Uh, so you say, so well, I really don't understand what it is that I want to accomplish. Right. Then there's a mechanism to use called a self-revealization acceptance that enables you to contact the creative power of the universe. I don't want to get into a religious thing here because it's not. It's not religion. Okay. It's like a f positive focus on what you want to experience That's in right. life. So you say, well, I can't really communicate with the creative power of the universe. Very few people can. Mm -hmm. They call themselves mystics mm. because they've got to have a way to explain to you what they're doing. Right. So you contact this through what I call the spirit of the thing itself so named. Mm. So for example, what is happening right here in this particular interview yes. is the spirit of the thing itself yes. is determining the reality of whether we're goofing, whether we're serious, right. and in turn is utilizing the power of the creative power of the universe in us, as us, and through us to get a message across that maybe one person will hear and say, I'm saved. That's right. I get it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I give like lectures and seminars okay. and all kinds of stuff like that, you know, but like, you know, I chose 90 miles to Philly ain't bad from the Upper East That's Side. Right. You understand That's what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but you got to entice me, Mama. Oh. You, know, no, oh. I got, you got no problem with that. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Uh, okay. My <laughs> funny Valentine. My funky Valentine? Not funky. My, my, my. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know what's it's the best thing no, I've had. This, this is very natural, by the way, what's going yes, on. Yes, it here, is. Man. A lot of people are going to be watching. Well, this is jive shit, man. But, uh, <laughs> hey, man, you know, go change, no change the channel. There's, there's, there's no script, There's man. no script. This is there's just There's no our... script in life. That's right. right you know, right. okay. So what the STI does, say, say for example, say, I want to be a master photographer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So opportunities present themselves. That's right. I said, yeah, but I'm not going to ever really be good at it. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. You're mm -hmm. not going to be any good at it. But on the other hand, I said, well, I want to be a photographer. What kind of photographer? The best. Well, okay, I want you to f photograph sports cars. Right. I don't want to photograph sports cars. No. Photograph the sports cars because what you really want to photograph you would be photographing if you knew what you wanted to photograph and the sports cars is a direct line to hook you into what you want to do That's right. based on who you are. Mm -hmm. See, most people can't stand themselves because they, they can't accept themselves, for the, they can't stand who they are because they don't like what they are. Right. So if you really say, you know, I really like who I am. Mm -hmm. And when you like who you are, whatever it is you're doing is the right thing for you to be doing. Yes. Okay, so yes. I mean, we go on and on and on. I forget, I'm a little wired from you know, all the action tonight mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but that's okay. I'm like this all the time. But you know what? I've been talking with people recently. We just left St. Lucia last week. Yeah. And talked to a lot of people about living their passion and their purpose. Living your passion and your purpose is a very unique situation. First of all, do you know what your passion is? Mm -hmm. Do you know what your purpose is? Mm -hmm. You must have you must have clarity of purpose. You must have clarity of thought. You must have clarity of vision. So well, how do you get that? By demanding from the creative power of the universe. I want clarity of purpose, clarity of thought, and clarity of reason. And it's just well, what are you gonna do with it? It's not your it's this is weird. It's gonna sound weird. It's not, is it? It's not your business. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you are put here for to satisfy the needs of the creative power of the universe. Look, I'm a tenor player, I'm a okay. very serious okay. tenor player, okay? And I love singing I, to a saxophone. Calm down. We, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to do a Billy Lester thing over here? Man? You know what I'm talking about, man? Okay, okay. He's saying, he's probably sitting with this, what the hell's going on with this cat and my old lady over here, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking his head. He says, how did this happen? He says, I don't know. What the hell did I do to deserve this? You know? Anyway, so the, the point is, like, I'll get to a certain level of playing with my music. Mm -hmm. I'll play a, any particular tune. It doesn't matter because mm -hmm. when you understand the music, you understand what you're doing. You know what the tune does. You know what you're supposed to do. Right. When you're free inside of your restriction, mm -hmm. you then express yourself on a higher level to please and satisfy the creative power of the universe that gave you this gift mm -hmm. for its enjoyment. Yes. Okay? And that's a key point. That is significant. Yes, and a is. lot of people can't think, what do you mean, man? I mean, was, yes. You have to also understand why the universe was created. Mm. Do you know why the universe was created? I'll tell okay, you why, why was it. Pause the for universe one second. Let's pause for one second. Again? Let's take a quick break. Yeah. And we're going to come back and find out why this. the universe was created. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know part of it was okay. for this. That's right. We'll be, we'll be right back on Dr. Walls and Friends. Uh, uh, you know, I'm having a good time with this. I know you are. Well, that's right. This well, what, what I do if I wasn't, man? <laughs> <laughs>